Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women, you are now welcome to the show that never ends, boy. You know what time it is, boy. Is your boy Toby, man. Listen, salute to every single one of you, man. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with me. And for that, one gun salute. If you're just coming to this channel for the first time, yeah? Or have you been coming to this channel and you've not subscribed yet? Because some of you are very, 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 very slimy. You get what I'm saying? You come in, you watch the video, you jack bar. Listen, subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, leave a comment, leave a like, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend because they got friends too. Mm, 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 mm. Today, not today. Ghanaians, come into the room. Ghanaians, come into the room. Are you from Accra, Kumasi, wherever you might be from, come into the room because I need to speak to you a lot today, man. Because we're not they mess up. We're not they mess up big time. And I'm here to speak to you a lot as a black brother, a neighbor. Some of you might like me, some of you might not like me. I don't really give a shit right and everybody knows i don't hide it i'm from nigeria so this is one of them times where um i might have to poke my nose into the neighbor's house a little bit <laughs> what am i talking about today i am talking about the whole quagmire the whole fighting online squabbling of this whole circle there and Bob Marley Steer It Up remix. I wanted to let this one go. I really wanted to. You get what I'm saying? Because for the last two weeks, it's been going on. You get me? A lot of people have been popping up, saying their piece, camouflaging it with personal beefs. But we all know what it is. You get what I mean? It is the crab in the bucket mentality. If you don't know what a crab in the bucket mentality is, go Google it. Because some of Una Una get that mentality. Crab in the bucket mentality is, have you seen a bunch of crabs in a bucket? Right? One of them is trying to get out. You know what happens? The other ones below drag him down. That's what you lot are doing to your own Ghanaians. That's what you guys are doing to your own. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about the landlord, yes. And he's the landlord of Ghana. There's no ifs and them buts. He is the landlord of Ghana. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not here to, to lick anybody's ass. I'm going to say as it is. Because I made a promise that, that any time I come on this mic, I will be very, very objective. He is the the landlord of Ghana. Ghanaians, if you lot don't know, yeah, one of your biggest artists, if not your biggest artist is Sarkodie. Yeah? You have Sarkodie, you have um, King Promise, you have Black Sheriff, you have Stoneboy, you have R2Bs. I'm talking about internationally known. I'm talking about internationally known. I'm not talking about someone that you guys know in Ghana. Okay, yeah, and Shatawale. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about someone that's known in Ghana. I'm talking about internationally known. Someone who has broken barriers. Sakodia is one of them. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart, yeah, that something that is supposed to be a thing of beauty, something that is supposed to be a thing of um, um, enjoyment, rejoice, you law have modeled it up. I always say that we are our own biggest enemy. We are our own worst enemy. You get what I'm saying? So, Sarkodie did, did this song with Bob Marley. Stare it up, the remix. I've touched on it. You law know how I feel about the song. It's a cool song. Is it the best song out there? Nah, but it is a cool song. He did his thing. He did his thing on that track. You can't tell me otherwise. You go, I mean, he's did it, he did his thing on that track. The video was amazing. You go, I mean, Bob Marley's voice, they did a thing on it. 
You get know what I'm saying? Everybody did their thing. But once that music came out, everybody and their mother jumped out of the woodworks. You get know what I'm saying? Everybody and their mother jumped out of the woodworks. That is, including, I'm going to play everything that they say. This is Shatawale, and this is what he said. You are there right now, even Sakode has featured about Mali. It's so beautiful. At least we have somebody that can feature a ghost. We should praise him. Charlie. Okay. That is Shatawale. And we have the legend Samini. Don't delay people. Luckily for me, I don't need anybody's verse or anybody's chorus to make a hit song. You can play my catalog. The only song I have on my catalog that's a hit song featuring someone else is Whiskey's Time Bomb. Yes, reverse the roles. You can tell me how many sax songs that has people on there. That's what I told his people on the, on the, on the, on the, on the Twitter platform because they were getting me furious by making me feel like me from 2001 is kissing sax uh, uh, um, backside back from 2009 for a verse when fans are those that ask for these things otherwise i per se if you check my catalog i would not need an additional voice on my song necessarily to make any waves when i put him on um, um my own remix where did you go samini well coming up with you know what if you want to go check out what samini said he he said a whole lot yeah, so that's Samini. And obviously, this is also Yapono. Yeah, only go where they enter the net. Since when did we feature the dead? Only Pono. Since when did we feature the dead? That is Yapono. So everybody has, has been running with this joke. Yeah, that Sakodia did a song with a dead man. <laughs> That he did a song with a ghost. You go, know I'm saying. So everybody has been kicking this man, boy. Would I say, kick? Are they kicking him while he's down? I don't think he's down, but they are kicking him. He is feeling it, boy. You go, know I'm saying. So that's Yapono. And one other person that have joined the queue is none other than Abubakar Ahmed. AKA Black Rasta. And who is Abubakar Hamed, respectfully? He's from Ghana. He's from Ghana. He's an artist in Ghana. You know what I mean? He, he does his thing. It is what it is. You get me? But he's one of them people as well that joined into the queue. And he had a mouthful to say about Sarkodie. Let's go and see what he said about Sarkodie. Hear me now. Listen. It hurts me so much. I decided never to talk about this issue. But trust me, Sarkodie allowed himself. You, you decided never to talk about the issue, but here you are talking about the issue. No be crazy with that. To be used to desecrate the legacy of Bob Marley. What is special about what Sarkodie did? The one way rap which has been on all these years. Oh, well, to desecrate the legacy of, of Bob Marley. And when you hear the tone of his voice and hear some of the things that he's saying, you can tell it's hate. You know what I mean? He has a whole lot of salt, salt in him. He's feeling very salty. You get me? Let's continue. What Sarkodia does is nothing but one way rap. And people are not ready to speak the truth. The truth is, Sarkodie, yeah, is on top of Ghana music. That is the truth. Whether you think the one-way rap, that's, that's subjective, however you might feel. But the truth is, when you mention Ghana, you mention Sarkodie. That's the truth. Hear me now. Mr. Logic is one of the boldest ones who would come out and try to give a certain kind of reasoning. But let's go deeper into this reasoning. You know what, yeah, this kind of guy, yeah, he's from Ghana. 
But here it is, yeah. Trying to do the whole um um Jamaican patois, you know, thing gang. You go, I mean, trying to not put all them kind of tones to 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 his accent in that. You get what I'm saying? Go on. When Bob Marley was alive, what did he say? When Bob Marley was alive, what did he say about his, his music? He Tell said, me. and I quote, you can't love me music if you love Barry White music. You want to hear it again? You can't love me music if you love Barry White music. Barry White was a legendary artist in the world of uh, music. In his own genre, he was a man who was loved so much by his cockles. Bob Marley was a king in his own right. Bob Marley was also a legend in the world of reggae and beyond spirituality. Bob Marley did not only sing reggae, he culturalized reggae. You want to hear it again? He culturalized reggae. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he spiritualized reggae. Shout out to Bob Marley though. Bob Marley was not only a singer, like most of these people, he was able to turn reggae music into a spiritual cult. How many people would listen to reggae music and people would all of a sudden put you in a certain kind of category? Both religious and, and, and some other such things. My brother, my sister, how many people would start listening to reggae music and people would start looking at you as somebody who smokes a certain kind of herb we can't say on radio? It's because of what Bob Marley did, the work. Bob Marley was able to draw religion and spirituality into reggae. Bob Marley was able to make the whole world understand that when you listen to reggae music, you do not only benefit from the aesthetics of reggae music, but the spirituality of reggae music. Bob Marley used his music to be able to free up Africa in one way or the other, including Zimbabwe, where he went to perform on the independence of that country. Bob Marley said, and I quote again, you can't love me music if you love Barry White music. And you can't love Barry White music if you love me music. Because he... I will stop with you, my friend. I will stop you there, my friend. Because clearly, respectfully, because I don't know who you are. And obviously, you don't know who I am. But you are very wrong. If Bob Marley was alive today, well, we don't know what Bob Marley is going to do if he's alive today. But what I do know is, Sarkodie is not the first person, yeah, that the Mali family have collaborated with, or the estate. There is a gentleman by the name of Funkstar Deluxe. There is a gentleman by the name of Funkstar Deluxe. He did a song with Bob Mali. You are not more reggae than Peter Touch. Peter Touch collaborated with Mick Jagger. You are no more reggae than Bougie Banton. You are not more reggae than, 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 than and some of these people from Jamaica. So what are you talking about that? That, oh, his family, you know, this and this and that and that. You clearly don't understand music, my friend. You clearly don't understand the business side of it. Bob Marley died more than 30 years ago, thereabout. What they are trying to do with some of these futures that they are doing, yeah, what they are trying to do is they are trying to reach out to the younger generation because I don't care how much of a legend Bob Mali is. His legacy needs to live on. And how does he live on? It's His legacy lives on by... Showcasing his music, tapping into the younger generation. Sarkodie is not the first person that they've done music with. They did music with Notorious B.I.G. Notorious B.I.G. sampled his music. 
Tupac sampled his music. There are other hip hop artists that have sampled his music. He did music with Lauryn Hill before she became this whole Rasta woman. She was in his music as well. His son, Damien Marley, you are not more gangster, you are not more, more Rasta than Damien Marley. He's done music with both Jay-Z, he's done music with Nas. So this whole thing about Rastafarian and all that kind of stuff, bro, just call it what it is, bro. You're just hating, bro. You're just hating, bro. Respectfully, bro, you're a hating ass nigga, bro. And I had to, and, and I had to say that about you, bro. And people of your ear, bro. You lot are hating ass niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? You guys should be happy for this guy. I don't know Sack. Sack does not know me. Sack does not pay my bills. I don't expect him to pay my bills. But I'm going to call it how I see it. Your music industry is still growing. You have one or two people trying to lift everyone else up and everyone else is dragging them down. And I'm not saying that Sack is perfect. I was here last week. I was here last week and I said, yo, I don't, I don't know what's going on between him and Samini, but whatever is going on between him and Samini, if what Samini said um, on the radio is facts and that's just that and there is no underlying issues and that, he needs to call that man and apologize to that man. I said it myself. So I'm here. I will be objective when it comes to this mic. You're hating, bro. Come on, bro. You lost should have been doing this. You get what I'm saying? You lost should not be doing this. You lost should be bigging that man up. And if you're not feeling this, the music, you can say, you know what? That's a cool music, man. It's not my cup of tea, but that's a cool music. Salute to him, though, for, for doing it with the family. That's what you could say. But going on this rant about the man, bro, I can't respect that, though. He saw the two of them in two different worlds. If Bob Marley was alive, do you think that he would be featuring Sarkodie? They are in two different worlds. I do not blame Sarkodie. Sark if Bob Marley was alive, yeah, he would feature people. If he was still in the music scene, he will future people. You know what I'm saying? Because, because we've seen so many Jamaicans doing that now. It's called the music business. That does not take away from who you are spiritually. That doesn't take away from who you are spiritually, my friend. Just come out and say, bro, I don't like this guy. And I'll respect that. I'll respect that. God, that's not the one I'm talking to. I'm you are talking to him. I'm talking to the disgraceful Bob Marley family, disgraceful Island Records, for desecrating the legacy of a great spiritual king. It's most nonsensical, my brother, my sister, and I'm hurt as a Rasta man. I am hurt, my brother, my sister, as somebody who has belonged to this cult all these years, risked our life. Only for Sarkodie to come on a record like Bob Marley, the king. It doesn't matter who else it is. It's not only Sarkodie. It could even have been Michael Jackson. It could even have been anybody mentioned, put in any name. That person would have desecrated the legacy of Bob Marley. When Bob Marley was alive, how many people did he feature in his music? He had the opportunity to feature Michael Jackson because he played with Michael Jackson in Jamaica. He had the opportunity to feature some other such greats, but he didn't because he wanted his music to belong to a certain kind of spirituality and cult. Listen, 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 listen. If you want to hear everything the guy has to say, go check it out, man. But all, all I got to say is, Ghanaians, man, you lot got to do better, man. You've got to do better. Come on. You've got to do better, man. 
You go, I'm saying. You can't hate your own like this. But you lot go find a way to support your own and build your industry. You go, I'm saying. Everybody cannot be trying to help you lot while you guys are, are tearing your own down. That's messed up. You get me? Come on, Black Rasta. You should do better, man. Come on, Samini. This is not the, this is not the time to, to air out your grievances in there. You get what I'm saying? Yapo no, come on, man. Shatawale. <laughs> Yo, listen. Salute to you guys, man. You get what I'm saying? I wish everyone peace and love. You get what I'm saying? Everybody go outside, touch a grass, hug a tree or something, man. You get what I'm saying? The negativity is getting too much, man. You get me? But anyways, watch the videos, man. Leave a comment, leave a like, share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend or tell an enemy to tell a friend. It's your boy, Toby, man. Follow me on Instagram, S-T-I-L-L-T-O-B-Z. On Instagram. Until next time, salute.